Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby, there's a slick town, Barnaby. And today we're going to be doing a very exciting piece. Um, we're going to be doing an intermediate combination to put on your Sunday clothes from Hello Dolly. Now, I had never actually seen Hello Dolly. Please don't be mad at me. I have never seen Hello Dolly, but I love this song. And it is because it's from my favorite movie. And if anyone has been on this channel long enough, you probably can guess what my favorite movie is. <laughs> I love Wally. -E. If you've been on my vlog channel, you know behind me I've got like a ton of Wally -E merch that's just like on my shelf. Um, I have my Wally -E socks today. I have my Wally -E colors today. Um, I just love this movie for so many reasons. Um, one of them is because I, I associate it with my dad. And so I think it's fitting that I'm putting this video out on Father's Day weekend so that um, I can just kind of pay tribute, but also it's Wally, but also it's put on your Sunday shoe or put on your Sunday clothes <laughs> from Hello Dolly. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Sunday shoes, but put on your Sunday clothes um, from Hello Dolly. Intermediate combination, so there's going to be like, it's a good moderate tempo. I don't really have options to make it easier or harder, but as we go, maybe if I think of like, okay, well maybe we could do this instead but it's pretty straightforward and intermediate, so it's like a great one, like an absolutely great level. So, I hope you guys are ready to start, and let's do it. All right, so it starts with the rhythm going, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four. So you have falafel, 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 ball change. The downbeat is gonna be on those heels and a one, and a two, and a three, and four. So you really, really want to make sure that those heels are going down on the one, two, three. So you have to start five, six, seven, eight. It gives a little bit of um, Prince Ali vibes from Aladdin. That kind of rhythm. So. Let's try that together. Full up heel, full up heel, full up heel, fall change. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Cool. Let's just make sure we do it one more time just to have the rhythm set and then move on. So, full up heel, full up heel, full up heel, ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Then you have a five count riff. A five count riff. So that's and six, heel, heel, toe, toe, and seven, and four. So that part is one five count riff, and then heel, heel, toe, toe, and seven, and eight. So let's try adding that on. Full up heel, full up heel, full up heel, ball change, and a five count riff, heel, heel, toe, toe. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight, and four. gonna skip over the fact that I missed the first sound of all of that. If I skip over it, I mean absolutely mention it so that we can all laugh at me together. Okay, now let's do it again. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, one more time. One more time. Just to make sure we have the rhythm. Five, six, seven, go. Awesome. Okay, your right foot is free. You have four more full lap heels at the same rhythm. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. So now instead of three and a ball change, you're gonna do four. Okay, so let's just make sure we have that. 
that rhythm. So you just did five, ten, six, seven, seven, eight. Let's we'll start with the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. So four full lap heels. Then shuffle step, ball change, shuffle step, ball change. So you want to keep everything on this like center. You want to shuffle out here, but then bring the step ball change in. So you're almost kind of like step, step, stepping. It's a ball change. So if you've done clogging before, it'll feel a little bit like, I think that's called a basic shuffle step ball change. Um, if you've done like just the pony, it'll feel a little bit like the pony. It'll feel like shuffle pony. You know what I mean? So you want to keep it in. That's just how I choreographed it. If you want to do like change, you can do that. That's fine. I just mean stylistically, I choreographed it to be a little bit more in. So that's that's up to you. There's an option. There's an option. I think with this one, the biggest thing with like options to make it harder or easier is just turning up the tempo or turning down the tempo because the steps in this are pretty standard and the like the moderate tempo is very intermediate so i think to play with like making it harder or easier that's just a matter of how fast or how slow you're going to do it cool so full up heel full up heel full up heel full up heel is what we just did now we have shuffle step ball change so it's shuffle and then step ball change and then you do it again. Shuffle, step, ball, change. The shuffle step is a little bit down, and then the ball change is up, down, and then that's stylistically how I'm doing it. Shuffle, down, up, down, shuffle, down, up. So that's why it feels like a pony. That's why it feels like a basic, which I hope I'm getting that right. I've only taken a few clogging classes. <laughs> so, shuffle, step, ball, change. So let's try it from full up heel. So you're going to go. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Okay, so let's do all of that from the beginning, and then we'll go with the music. Ready? So from the first set of full up heel, full up heel, full up heel, ball change, and then the five count riff heel, heel, toe, toe, and then the four full up heels, shuffle step, ball change, shuffle step, ball change. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do it with music. And well, in between that, I'll explain the music. Cool. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Okay, let's try it with music, but first let me explain. <laughs> so a lot of the versions of this song that I found were heckin' copyright protected. Like, I could not use them on this channel. They were just like, I'm sorry, hard stop. <laughs> no. So I had to find a very, very unique cover of it, which you know I love finding because, like, we all hear the original. Let's hear somebody else's really, really cool take. Like with the Spice Girls song that we just did on this channel, Say You'll Be There. What a cool version, right? That was so cool. This one, um, I know this is not everybody's favorite genre of music, but when I say that these guys play so well, and it just gives it a really cool spin on the song, um, I really, really hope that you guys will forgive that it is not your favorite genre of music for many of you. It's kind of a bluegrass version, which, again, to me, it's just so cool to have that kind of thing, and it fits. This song fits into bluegrass so well. Um, the group that does it is called the Playbillies, so they do like bluegrass versions and like of, of musical theater songs. Bluegrass versions of musical theater songs. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Um, it's so cool. 
I hope you enjoy dancing to this and it does fit to the original of the song in case you're wondering so that you can learn it with this and then if you don't like the version of the song you'll never have to listen to it again but please enjoy it for this tutorial all right let's give it a shot there's just certain genres of music that some people just like really dislike and I, I understand that you're allowed to dislike whatever it is that you dislike but for the purpose of learning this uh, dance even if you don't like bluegrass give it a shot because it's such it's such a cool interpretation and the dance is fun so let's do it out there there's a world outside of Yonkers Way out there beyond the slick town, Barnaby. Ready? There's a slick town, Barnaby. Six, seven, eight. Oh. And then you go and a one and a two and a three. So let's not have that first one count. We were just listening to the song. Cool. Now, this is our first try, which means it still doesn't count, but it's our actual first try. And we got this. Let's do it. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond the state town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, right. Barnaby. right down there in a playlist in the description. So click that playlist, find the step you need to learn in any of my videos, it's always there. Find the step that you need to, that you need to learn, not that you need to video, that's my job. Um, find the step that you need to learn, learn it, and then come right back to this video when you feel comfy with it. Also, here's a great option. 
If Cincinnati is just not in your vocabulary yet, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So do step and then seven drawbacks instead of step three drawbacks and two Cincinnati's. You'll sound pretty much the same way as I do, and you'll end at the same time. So there's a great option. So just step and then seven drawbacks, or do as I'm doing, which is three drawbacks and two Cincinnati's. So let's try putting that together. We're gonna go one, two, Now, if you're doing the drawbacks, cool, if you're just doing the seven drawbacks, um, I'm not gonna do that just because it's written as Cincinnati, but you should sound exactly the same. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and eight. Should sound exactly the same. All right, let's try it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Make sure you're giving enough emphasis on those heels because sometimes we just like we lean too far forward and we don't get much of a heel sound, but that's really where you want the sound. Otherwise, it doesn't sound complete. So make sure you're putting enough emphasis on those heels, whether you're doing the drawbacks only or you're doing the Cincinnati's. Let's try it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So make sure you put weight on that left foot when you're done. Now, this is where the rhythm completely changes. So far we've done like either like a little bit swung or like very, very straight triplets, one and a two and a. Now we're gonna go right with the words. Da 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 I don't actually know the words, so that's why you get da 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 da. It's like one and two and a three and four and a five and six and a seven. That's the rhythm, right on the words. So we have step, shuffle, hop, step, step, shuffle, hop, step. Two of the like step and it's an Irish, step and it's an Irish. So step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. You gotta make space between the shuffle and the hop in order to fit this rhythm. Da, 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 da. There's that little da, 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 comma, da, da. So step, shuffle, hop, step, step, shuffle, hop, step. Let's try that together. A little bit, a little bit quick. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step, shuffle, hop, step, five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. Awesome, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle. Then you finish the phrase with step, shuffle, ball change, stand. So it's step, shuffle, ball change, stand. That last part is one step, a shuffle, ball change, stamp. So full foot stamp at the end. So that's all going to sound like. Two step in an Irish, one step shuffle, ball change, stamp. Can we try it? Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. the exact same rhythm, I just changed it up on the third one. So let's do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, let's go from the drawbacks, and then we'll do, like we'll go from the drawbacks into the step, shuffle, hop, step, and then we'll try adding it on with music, all right? So from the drawbacks, from the step and three drawbacks, or step and seven drawbacks. Five, six, Seven, eight. I don't know what the words were that came out of my mouth. I tried to count it and I think I said like one or like seven. I don't know. I don't know why there were so many F's in what I was going to say. Let's try it again. One more time. It'll make a lot more sense with the music. We want to try it? Okay, let's add it on from the top. 
First time never counts. We're just seeing how this goes. We got this. Out there. There's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond the sea town bar. There's a sweet town bar. closer so that maybe it gets a little louder. All right. That was a little faster than I thought it was going to be. So it's a little faster than I prepared you for. I do apologize for that. One thing I always say though is if you can do it slow, you can do it fast. You can. Speed doesn't change the step. Don't panic. Panic will change the step. Don't be like, ah, it's fast. <laughs> that will change the step, but speed does not. So just be cool, be chill, think, oh, you know what, it's fine. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I'll try it again. And don't stress, because stress will change a lot of what happens in the beat. We stress and we go, ah, and then we can't do anything when we're that tense. <laughs> so relax, we got this. It is a little fast, but we will be okay. Let's try it again and see how this goes. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Ready? Six, seven, eight. helps us improve just a little bit. All right, let's do it one more time and we'll move on to the next section. You guys can take as long as you need to on each of these sections because YouTube is beautiful for that. With that pause and rewind, it's awesome. All right, let's do it. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Ready? Six, seven, eight. as you need to until you're ready to meet me back here. Let's go ahead and move on to the third section. So we just did stamp. So our right foot is free. You have, this part gets a little easier, gets, gets, it calms down. That last one was like, okay, go. And you're like, wait, that's really fast. <laughs> this next part, not so bad. It's two slow paradiddles, then three fast paradiddles in the stamp. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, So, two slow, three fast in a stamp. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Paradiddles are in that step tutorial playlist. So if you are like brand new to paradiddles, um, that's okay. You can learn it in that step tutorial playlist. Some people also call them paddle and rolls. There are lots of different names for different steps. 
I call it a paradiddle. It's dig, spin, step, heel, just to clarify. Okay, so two slow, three fast on the stand. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. From there, your right foot is free. You have two, and here's another step that has a whole lot of names. This step is also in my tutorial, or my step tutorial playlist down below. So there's uh, lots of different names for this step. I call it a Broadway. Many people call it a Shirley Temple. I've heard that people call it a butterfly. I've heard people call it a curtsy step. An Alexander, a Manhattan, a, I don't even remember. There are so many. I like butterfly though. <laughs> that was kind of cool. So I call it a Broadway and for the purpose of this video, we will call it a Broadway, but just in case you called it any of those things, now you know what it is. So. Pull up, heel, heel, spin, heel, toe, heel. One more time to the left. Pull up, heel, heel, spin, heel, toe, heel. And let's make sure we're using our opposite heel first. So when I pull up with the right, I'm putting the left heel down first. Opposite this way, pull up left, right heel goes down first. I normally don't like go that in depth on one step, but like that's one of those like things that a lot of people do and don't even realize that they're doing. So I like to call attention to it and say, just in case, focus on that and make sure you're doing it the opposite heel first. Okay, so you just did one and one and three and four and three right away. It goes. So it's not fast at all. It starts on the and of one. So let's go from the paradiddles and put those together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and four, and five, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Can we add it on? Cool. First time, you know, we're just getting used to it. Doesn't count. No stress. There's no stress in tap dance. Let's do it. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, there's a slick town, Barnaby. So really think about that. 
A lot of times we miss that and just turn it into paddle rolls, which is, that's what I call it when there's only three sounds. But yeah, cool, let's do it. <laughs> out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Ready? If you've been listening to the song as it like keeps playing before I press stop, you'll know that that rhythm, that da 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 that rhythm is coming back. So that's the rhythm we're going to be using for this next part. So you just did. Now you have that da 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 that rhythm. So your right foot starts. You have. Step, spank, heel, toe, heel. You have two of them. It's a step, you spank heel, toe, heel. And then you go on the left. Step, spank heel, toe, heel. And it's fast. You want to keep it, I, I actually just did not do that very well. You want to keep it very like, da, 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 very syncopated, very like staccato. Da, 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 short notes. Staccato means short notes. So step, spank heel, toe heel, step, spank heel, toe heel. So you want to make space. There's space between this and this. And then there's space between this and this. So space between the step and the spank. And then space between the heel and then the toe. So. So see how there's like a little breath in between each one. Step, spank heel. You want to keep a tiny space. Da, 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 da. So do it twice. Let's try. Five, six, seven, eight. It's hard. It is so hard to keep that rhythm right with this particular step. If you need a different option, if this step is driving you crazy, that's okay. Go back to the first time we did this rhythm and do the exact same line. The it fits. It fits exactly. And they both end the same. I'll get to that in a second. But step, spin, heel, toe, heel. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. My problem is I keep pulling the second spin just a tiny bit early. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, and you finish it off the exact same way as you did the other line. So that part you're familiar with. That's that Which is why if you just want to do the Irishes again, that's okay, it ends the same. Versus. So it ends exactly the same. Step, shuffle, ball change, stamp. So let's try it from the drawbacks into step shuffle ball change stand. If you're doing the Irishes, go ahead and do those. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. To finish off the whole piece, you have step that I love so much. So you have stomp, move your toe, move your heel, move your toe. That last one, put all of your weight on it. Stomp, move your toe, move your heel, move your toe. Put all of your weight on it. 
You have two of them and they're kind of fast. One and two and two and four. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Awesome. One more time. Five, six, seven, go. One and two and three and four. Eight. Okay, your right foot's free. Let's do a cramp roll, step heel stand. Five and six and seven. So it's one cramp roll, step, step, heel, heel, and then you have step heel with the right foot, stamp with the left. And that's how you finish the whole piece. So I'm slightly distracted because Sayuri is like doing stuff. I don't know why. You know how cats have an agenda. You know, they're just like, I have a to-do list today. Mom, don't get in the way of my to-do list. So I was a little worried, but it's fine. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Very straightforward rhythm. Let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Awesome. One more time and then we'll walk through, or we'll go from the drawbacks and then we'll walk through the whole thing and we'll do it with music. So from stomp toe, heel toe. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Awesome. From the drawbacks. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. So there is a pause in between. I forgot to say you hold eight in between the two lines. So I'm so glad we did that. Let's do that one more time. Bye, sweetie. Let's do that one more time. I can only see her in the viewfinder. Oh, one more time and then we'll walk through the whole thing. Ready? Five, six, seven, draw back. Okay, let's walk through the whole thing, and we'll do it with music. Ready? So from six, seven, eight in the beginning with the full up heels. Ready? Six, seven, eight. not lose my breath. I know at some point I will figure out like a microphone system that will work, but there's, there's a lot of issues I've been having with that. So one day I will figure out a system that works for now. I will just project and it's been working for a while. So we'll stick with it. All right. You ready to do it from the top? Whole thing? Let's have some fun. All right, so first time doesn't count. We're just getting used to how it all fits together. Let's do this. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Ready? Six, seven, eight.
their country. I know hearing a banjo can just be one of those moments where you're like, I don't like it. But let me just say how much talent it takes to play a banjo. Just at least, at least give it that. At least be like, wow, I may not like this, but the talent that it takes to play a banjo is one of the hardest instruments to play in the world. So at least appreciate the talent, even if you don't like the sound of it. You're well within your right not to like the sound of it. Everyone can like and dislike whatever they want. I like all kinds of music, but uh, I have learned the talent that it takes to play the banjo is intense. So yeah. Anyway, that's my little two cents right there. But let's try it again this time. Ah. This time, we're just gonna make it a little bit better. Just improve like one or two things. I'm gonna try to improve the step spin heel to heel rhythm. Um, I have no idea what just came out of my mouth. I don't think it was the right words, but the step spin heel to heel is what I meant to say. I'm gonna try to improve that rhythm. You choose whichever piece of it you want to focus on. Don't try to make the whole thing perfect. That's not what the second round is for. All right, you got this. Out there. There's a world outside of Yonkers Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby There's a hick town, Barnaby teach these to you. Um, last time has a very, very specific requirement, and that is that we make it fun. So no matter what you do, have fun with it. Channel your adorable Wally energy or your Hello Dolly energy, whichever one, and uh, have some fun, okay? Press Out there. There's a world outside of Yonkers Way out there beyond this town, Barnaby There's a slick town, Barnaby perfect time to put it out because again I associate Wally with my dad so it's like such a good Father's Day tribute for me but also just it's a cute movie <laughs> and Wally's just such a cute movie and Hello Dolly is one of the classics of musical theater so it's always good to throw it back you know all right well hopefully you guys had so much fun with me today I always have fun teaching you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the tap fam we've got choreography tutorials like this i try to put out a musical theater one at least once a month if not like once every six weeks um we have step tutorials like i mentioned like in the playlist below we have technique exercises we've got vlogs challenges it has been a little while since i filmed a vlog i need to get back on that but um, we have lots and lots of fun tap resources for you guys. I also take requests. So if you have a vlog topic that you want me to cover, let me know. I'm just super behind on filming vlogs because I'm a teacher and the year just ended. So hopefully this summer, 
will give me the time to do some of that, except as a um, as anyone who may have been on my uh, community page may know, I'm, I'm gearing up for a very busy summer because, you know, I'm changing my role at one of my studios and I'm getting married and I'm traveling with my companies again. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> so hopefully I have the time to film all those vlogs, but I'll at least, I'll at least get to some of them and keep compiling that list. So if you have requests, make sure you send them on over. So don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that thumbs up button if you had a good time with me today and also so that YouTube knows people like free tap dance class. And so it puts it out there for other people to see. So hit that thumbs up and yeah, I love being your YouTube tap teacher. Thank you so much for taking class with me today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.